These treatments range from painkillers and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs to biologic agents that are injected to intercept or attack the chemical signals in your body that cause the disease. Right now we're going to talk about disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, or DMARDs, which are the mainstay of modern RA treatment. The most common prescribed DMARD is methotrexate, which is also known as rheumatrex or trexol. Leflunamide, also known as Arava, hydrochloroquine, also known as plaquenil, and sulfasalazine, also known as isulfidine, are a few other FDA-approved DMARDs indicated for the treatment of RA. RA occurs when a problem in your body causes your immune system to attack the cells that line your joints. DMARDs work by suppressing your immune system, and this helps to reduce inflammation, that is, the pain and swelling you feel when you have RA. More importantly, treatment with DMARDs can slow disease progression, which can hold off or even prevent permanent damage to your bones and joints. However, DMARDs can have serious side effects, such as liver damage and lung infections or eye damage, and that's why your healthcare provider will work with you to make sure that your care is done properly. Due in part to these possible side effects, DMARDs were once considered a last resort treatment, and doctors would only prescribe them if a patient's RA had progressed to a point where milder treatments were largely ineffective. As doctors and researchers continue to examine the causes and detrimental effects of RA, DMARDs have emerged as first-line RA treatment. When used in the early stages of the disease, within the window of opportunity to get RA under control, DMARDs have been shown to halt disease progression before the start of permanent damage. In fact, when DMARDs are used as a first-line treatment, some patients see their RA go totally into remission. Because DMARD attacks the causes of RA, not just the symptom, they can take a month or more to start working, and even longer to reach their full effect. Due to the possible side effects we discussed before, you may need lab tests to monitor your liver and any changes to bodily functions. Be sure to talk to your doctor about which lab tests you may need when on DMARD therapy.